Hi, Peter Charles here of Hooked Fly Fly Fishing, and today we're going to tie the Baldwin. Now this is a very attractive, uh, bright-bodied fly. It will do a good job of imitating uh, very small minnows with its uh, white body. Uh, not only will it be good for trout, it'll also be good for panfish as well. I've caught uh, quite a few fish over the years uh, using this style of fly. A lot of perch. I mean, it's been fantastic for perch. So give that a thought, not only trout, but also panfish. So let's get started looking at the materials, then get tying. Our hook today is a size 10 in a standard wet fly hook. Our thread is a white 8 aught. Our tail is teal. Our body is white floss. Our throat is claret. And our wing is mallard, flank feather. So let's tie on our thread. Start at the front of the hook. Now this is a speed method. We're going to start with the tail, tied in at the front of the hook. Now the floss. Now we just skid this back touching turns. Now come forward. Now we trim off the waist. Now we're going to start on the floss, flatten it out, avoid the hook point, it wrecks floss if you hit the hook point. Now you can see the wisdom of using white thread. Our white floss will stay white even when it gets wet. If I was to use black floss under here it would turn a dark gray when it gets wet. Now the throat. We don't want this too long. If you find it's too long, just pull it gently. Pull it into position. Now we color our thread black. and tie in our wing. Now we have some choices with the wing. We could go relatively uh, large and I would take a, a bit off of each side, fold them together and sort of make a rather neat flat wing. I'm going to do something a little different, something I do with a lot of my mallard uh, wing flies, is I take a good sized clump but I level them up together so the tips are fairly together and then I position it. Now I'm going to put the mallard about but just past the hook point. Just check to see if it's straight in the right length. That looks good. Put a couple more turns so it won't move. Now we trim off. And now we just wind that down. And we whip finish. Okay, the last step is to add a little bit of head cement. There you have it, our Baldwin. Very simple fly. Uh, I think it will be effective minnow imitation. 
uh, be quite good stripped as well as swung. And as I say, keep in mind, uh, using it for panfish as well as uh, trout, maybe even some baby bass if you wanted to. So give it a try, the Baldwin. Cheers. <laughs>